Hey guys, I'm Tyler from Mishimoto. Today, I'm here to show you how to install the Mishimoto silicone throttle body hose into a 2008 through 2014 Subaru WRX. Tools needed for the installation of the Mishimoto silicone throttle body hose for the 2008 through 2014 Subaru WRX are ratchet, ratchet extension, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver. Estimated time for installation is under one hour and is a three out of five on the difficulty scale. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the negative battery terminal. The next thing we're gonna do is disconnect the vacuum hose from the recirculating valve. You might also call this the blow-off valve or the bypass valve. Now we need to remove the recirculating valve. This is held to the intercooler with two 10 millimeter bolts. When removing the recirculating valve, make sure the gasket doesn't fall off. Next, we need to disconnect the intercooler from the turbo. To remove the intercooler, we need to remove this single 12 millimeter bolt to disconnect it from its mounting bracket. To make installation a little bit easier, you can remove these two 12 millimeter bolts here and remove the bracket assembly from the engine bay. Next, we need to disconnect the throttle body hose from the throttle body. After you've transferred the factory clamps onto your new Mishimoto hose, you're good to install your throttle body hose into the car. We've included a Mishimoto label and a small dimple on the hose to indicate how to install the hose properly onto the car. When installing the hose, make sure that the non-labeled side goes to the throttle body. Once the hose is installed to the throttle body, rotate the clamp for easier access so you can tighten it down. When installing the throttle body hose, make sure the Mishimoto label is pointing up so it's properly rotated to install the intercooler. After that, we're going to reinstall the intercooler mounting brackets using three 12 millimeter bolts. All right, guys, next we're going to reconnect the intercooler to the turbo. Next, we're going to reinstall the recirculating valve to the intercooler using two 10 millimeter bolts. Also, don't forget to reconnect the vacuum hose. Once you've got everything all buttoned up, go out and enjoy your new Mishimoto product. 